7 a.m. In anticipation, I stood before the quaint temple that marked the start of a trail that could take me to the top of Penang Hill. As the sleepy world around me stirred in the delicate light of dawn. The trail was soon enveloped in foliage, and the murmur of water greeted my ears. the trail steadily upwards. Turning around, I was surprised by a glimpse of the famous Galossi temple, shimmering in the distance. Near at hand were some ruins swallowed by the forest. Here the structures dotted the outward path, and before long I came upon a shelter with an impressive view. I rested, feeling exhausted. Despite its name, Penang Hill was a real mountain, and this was my first real climb in years. I knew I had a long way more to go, and struggled briefly with thoughts of giving up. came to a major rest area, equipped with a kitchen, an altar, toilets, plenty of chairs and flags. And beyond, I could see Georgetown Penang stretched out below, even the iconic Penang Bridge, a tapestry of shapes and shadows. Many weekend hikers would conclude their hike here at this scenic viewpoint, where they would enjoy the view with some refreshments. But for me, the journey remains far from over. I hiked on along an easy, sunlit stretch, constantly regaled by panoramic views of the city below. It was a welcome change from the dense and steep section just before. While the trail would branch every now and then, good GPS reception kept me on track. Before long, the trail once again began ascending, passing some rural housing. The trail briefly met the tracks of the Penang Hill nuclear train, another occasion for a break.
path became a dirt trail, once again pushing relentlessly up. As I got closer to the upper regions of the mountain, forest cover began to give way to roads and gardens, and the trail became paved once again. Along with the exhaustion, I could now feel in my bones the end, the fruition of the journey. It's only a matter of patience now. The summit platform came into view, fuel for my tired limbs. I've done it. I made it up my first real mountain in years and felt a mixture of elation and relief. The summit area itself, crowded and touristy, was of little interest to me. I wanted only one thing, the fame reward that all hikers who make it up here enjoy. The rest of my time in Penang is documented in a separate vlog series. As for this hike, it ends here with the icy sweetness of Chindong.